coming to our first question in that it was giving tell me whether azurine is aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic hello everyone uh, myself nosha ansari and i have done mtech from iit delhi and i have also qualified various competitive exams such as csr net grf and gate twice so and i have been teaching students of uh, upsc uh, optional chemistry and ipg and neat etc so today we are going to discuss this uh, uh, civil services examination number 2024 this paper we are going to discuss in this uh, as we know there are two paper of this uh, upsc exam optional uh, paper 2 and paper 1 so today we will discuss the paper 2 and it also consist of the eight question so we will uh, start by the question 1 and in this whole series we will discuss all the question uh, of this year and of the all previous years also so uh, coming to the question 1 of this uh, question 1 of a part it is say, saying classify the following aromatic anti aromatic and uh, non aromatic compound so it is giving at azulene pyridine sindone cyclooctadiene and cyclopenta di enyl cation so here before coming to this uh, uh, question uh, solving part we will discuss a bit uh, about a bit about this uh, what is aromaticity as we know if any compound uh, to be aromatic it must follow the uh, given condition it must be cyclic planar and complete conjugation and 4n plus 2 pi electron so these are the necessary condition for any compound to be aromatic and for any compound to be non aromatic it needs to be the first three condition are same for a compound to be anti aromatic but uh, the other condition is it must follow the 4 and pi electron here the 4 and plus 2 pi electron and the 4 anti aromatic it must have a uh, 4 and pi electron and for a non aromatic compound these three condition must not be fulfilled. any any of these are not fulfilled any of these uh, four uh, condition are not filled with then the such compound are known as non aromatic compound yeah coming to our first question in that it was giving tell me whether azurene is aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic so as we know this compound is iso uh, isomer of a naphthene like this so and we have already mentioned it is a non benzonide compound which means it doesn't contain a benzene ring like this this is a benzene ring it doesn't contain that benzene ring it is a five membered and seven membered fused ring together yeah so coming to this question uh, whether it is uh, aromatic or not the first condition is that it is cyclic it is very clear it is planar because it is having all sp2 uh, half dash orbital and uh, the third condition was conjugation it is showing the complete conjugation as it is shown over here very clearly all the adjacent uh, atom are having single bond and double bond so coming to the condition of 4n plus 2 pi electron we will see that this part is having 4n electron which means only 4 electron is it is having so it is showing an anti aromatic character but to uh, uh, what it is uh, showing over here it is not the case what this compound do it uh, it rotate like this yeah what happens over here this electron came over here and this electron sorry and uh, you can take this also but it will be make our uh, 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 solution easier if we go by this way then it will take uh, this will come over here then this will come over here and this will come over here so uh, we will uh, follow the easier way uh, easier pathway yeah so it will be like this this is our compound and here it uh, it have the negative charge and here it becomes a double bond and here is the double bond and here the double bond interact like this and here the double bond is like this only and here a positive charge is generated so now we can easily see that these two part those two ring part are the both the ring part are aromatic both the ring part are aromatic this one is having Two electron over here. 
like this. So it was like this. Or we can redraw it, I think. Yeah, it would be better for us. Yeah. So as I have told you, this is like this. This uh, electron uh, uh, came over here. It means at this position. And this bond is like this only. And this bond is like this. And this bond we made like this. And over here, these are like joined over here. So this will come over here. And here a positive charge is being generated. Yeah. So now we can easily see this part uh, is having uh, this part of the ring is having six pi electron. And in the symbol similar way, the, uh, the another part of the ring, this part is also having six pi electron. So both the part are aromatic. This part is also aromatic. So uh, overall, this compound is an aromatic as I have shown over here. So in the answer we can write that it is an aromatic compound because those uh, both is, uh, conjugation is also fulfilling like this. Okay, and it is also having it, it can be rotated like this. So uh, the com uh, complete conjugation cyclic because of sp2. I have already mentioned the thing. So this compound is aromatic. Yeah, coming to the Nash compound, it is a pyridine, and we know it is a six pi electron aromatic heterocyclic compound. Uh, it consists of a six membered ring and uh, its uh, structure is quite similar to benzene but this this part is quite different here nitrogen is there and in place of the carbon so what happens over here i have, we, uh, we have already uh, also drawn this type of diagram of this uh, electron what happens over here this uh, two electron this two electron and this two electron take parts in conjugation and this electron doesn't pay take part in the conjugation because this is in the sp2 this is in the sp2 hybridized orbital and which is planar to ring which is planar to ring and the uh, orbital which has planar to ring they doesn't take part in the conjugation so only these electron they take part in the conjugation and we can easily see these are six electron these are six pi electron these are six pi electron and the other condition like cyclic conjugation and planarity planarity these are all fulfilled because it is a SP, same sp2 hybridized carbon all are sp2 hybridized carbon so this uh, is uh, also fulfilling the criteria so this compound is also our aromatic compound so this compound will be also a aromatic compound yeah so uh, one and two are aromatic uh, coming to the sixth uh, third question third part which is a syndone and we know it's a uh, six pi electron non aromatic heterocyclic ring because it is having a heterocyclic atom in the ring so what is the imp uh, important thing over here it has a one two three oxadiazole oxadiazole one two three position oxadiazole core is there and a keto group at fifth position this thing this is the common thing for the syndone type syndone type of compound and what this compound do they are generally uh, a five member ring and we, we, we need to see can check out this is it either aromatic or not by the ring we can easily see that it is having two electron and it is having a double bond it means two electron over here and two electron over here so it is a six pi electron system and conjugation is also uh, by seeing the uh, visualizing we can see there is a conjugation over here, conjugation over here, the conjugation over here. So by seeing this, we can uh, 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 assume that it is a cyclic, it is a cyclic planar conjugated and six pi electron. So this system must be an aromatic compound. This must be an aromatic compound. But uh, what happens? Uh, we have the scientists studied that in the scientific paper, they find out that the conjugation which is being present in this molecule is not like uh, uh, the complete conjugation because the conjugation only take place like this only from here to here and here to here and from this carbon to this carbon only so we can see like this yeah so uh, we can see, uh, see like this and and single bond n over here 
like this so conjugation taking part is only this place and sorry i will show it by yeah so i will show it by different pen yeah like this so uh, yeah so here we are having a double bond over here and a hydrogen over here and uh, yeah so now we will show the conjugation how conjugation is taking place this bond is uh, we can say this part is uh, taking place in conjugation and this part is taking place in the conjugation like this and this part is taking place in the conjugation and the remaining part which is not shown it doesn't it is not taking uh, part in conjugation so incomplete conjugation it is being proved by the scientific studies uh, incomplete conjugation and we know the necessary condition for a compound to be aromatic it must have a complete conjugation so it is not showing the uh, it is showing an in incomplete conjugation like this uh, yeah like this so uh, yeah so this compound is like this so we can uh, easily say that this is a uh, non aromatic compound because it is not showing the complete conjugation so coming to the next question it is a cyclo octa tetra ene this is our given compound it is a 8 pi 2 2 2 2 it is an 8 pi ele uh, electron system it's a it's a eight member uh, ring so uh, we can see that this is a uh, cyclic planar all sp2 hybridized carbon and uh, conjugation also is also there but uh, by visualizing we can confuse but we know to uh, it is uh, aromaticity anti aromatic by this uh, visualizing but uh, we know that with this compound to overcome this aromaticity uh, convert into this shape it is a tub type tub type shape we can say or a bow type shape so th this type of molecule is not planar is not planar to avoid this uh, anti aromaticity it change into a non planar shape and it became like this so this compound is our non aromatic compound it is a non aromatic compound because it change its shape yeah so the last uh, uh, question of this uh, uh, first question sub part is cyclopenta diene so by visualizing uh, we can easily say it is a planar planar conjugated and uh, uh, cyclic and it is having two electron over here and two electron here it is a four pi electron system and we know i have already told you that for anti aromatic compound this uh, condition must be fulfilled four pi electron so this compound is our anti aromatic compound so yeah so this was our last uh, question which of this sub part i have already discussed uh, yeah so for in the first uh, i will again uh, tell you azurene is an aromatic compound due to this type of uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, rotation of bond it's uh, aromatic and nitrogen and pyridine is also aromatic and this electron is not taking part in the uh, conjugation this syndone is uh, a non aromatic due to incomplete conjugation and again this uh, cyclo octa tetra in cot is also non aromatic because of this type of uh, tub shape orientation and this cy uh, cyclopenta dienalkatiene is a uh, uh, anti aromatic compound due, due to following all this rule given by us so yeah so hope this uh, helps you a lot and in a, another uh, series we will also uh, try to solve uh, more questions of this previous year of this upsc exam thank you